Welcome to the Stockade ST315i cleaning maintenance video. We have four steps in the process. Dismantle, degrease, lubricate and assembly. Before we start we must make sure the tool is safe by removing the battery, the gas, and also the staples. And then make sure you have all the tools required for the job. A four millimeter hexagonal Allen key, a plastic drip tray, a number two Phillips head screwdriver, an old toothbrush, Paslo degreaser oil, Paslo degreaser, safety glasses, safety gloves, and a lint-free cloth. Step one, dismantling the tool. First, you remove the rear cap using the four millimeter hexagonal Allen key. Use the Allen key or powered screwdriver to wind out the four screws. Once all the screws have been backed out, remove the rear cap, leaving the screws sitting in the holes to avoid losing them. Next, remove the black magazine nut at the bottom, midway down the magazine. Always be careful that the black washer doesn't get away from you. Next, remove the work contact element, the red lever, and slightly depress the contact element. Place the nose piece aside. Then we use the Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw and the handle near the front of the tool. Remove the screw and push the pin out the other side with the screwdriver. Slide the front of the handle away from the magazine and then gently lift the handle and fan assembly off. Inside the handle is a black piece of plastic called the fuel shelf. Remove this from inside the handle and place carefully off to the side with the handle assembly. Step two, degrees. Now we need to depress the piston before applying degreaser. Use the back end of your Phillips screwdriver to depress the piston. Put the lint-free rag inside the bore and use the screwdriver to push to the bottom. Then use the Paslo degreaser to spray around the outside of the chamber. After that, we use the screwdriver to pull the rag up and down clean around the inside of the chamber. Once the chamber is visually clean, remove the rag and wipe around the top of the cylinder, giving it a good clean. Visually check the cylinder and ensure it looks nice and clean, i.e. no carbon deposits left. Place the cylinder aside and leave to dry. Pick up the handle and fan assembly. We will be cleaning the steel O-rings. Spark plug area and the fan. Do not use an air compressor in this area as it will damage the fan and motor. Using the Paslo degreaser, spray around the O-rings, fan and spark plug area. Wipe this area with a rag, ensuring you remove any black marks and stubborn carbon stains. Once it is visually clean, place the assembly aside for it to dry. Now to clean the air filter. Pick up the black rear cover and use your thumbs to remove the cap. Under the cap is the air filter. Remove the air filter and spray liberally with degreaser. Ensure you are holding the product over the drip tray. Use a rag to wipe off the degreaser and the carbon buildup. Put the filter back into position in the rear cover and place aside to dry. With the excess degreaser on the rag, wipe the filter cap clean. 
replace the cap cover and secure. Step three, lubricate. Pick up the cylinder assembly in preparation for lubricating. Drop the impulse awl around the inside of the cylinder. Then get your screwdriver and use it to depress the firing pin, which in turn pushes the piston to the back position. Use the screwdriver to push the piston forward again. Repeat this several times to distribute the lubricant. This creates a ring of oil around the cylinder and it's also getting oil into the steel o-rings around the piston. The next part we need to lubricate is between the combustion chamber and the piston. Replace the work contact element in the nose. Push the nose into the table. You should be able to see eight individual chambers. Grab the lubricant and place drops of oil between the combustion chamber and the piston. Approx three to four drops per chamber. Work the tool up and down to get the lubricant in the chamber and the o-rings. Using the firing pin to push the piston back up and replace the nose cover. Place the body assembly aside. Pick up the handle assembly and put a ring of oil around the two steel o-rings. Use your fingers to work the oil in by turning the o-rings. Before reassembling, ensure the join on the two o-rings are 180 degrees away from one another. Put a drop of oil onto the shaft of the fan and give the fan a spin to work it in. Step four, assembly. Reinsert the black plastic fuel shelf in the front of the tool. Pick up the handle assembly with the tool on an angle. Reattach the handle assembly to the body assembly, sliding the fan on first, then clipping front into place. Pick up the long pin to be reinserted into the front of the tool. Ensure that the fuel shelf has not moved out of position. Secure the screws to the other side and tighten with the screwdriver. Be careful not to over tension the screws. Firm is good. Resecure the black nut with the spacer washer still in place. Now we replace the rear cap. Ensure that the fuel cell door is open when doing this or it will be stuck shut. Replace the four screws holding the rear cap. Whether you are using a power tool or not always, do the final tension by hand on the screws to ensure a firm tension. Now put the battery, the gas and the staples back in to ensure it is firing correctly. 